I'm Carolyn Persuti, Senior Washington Correspondent with Voice of America. I'm Carolyn Persuti, Senior Washington Correspondent at Voice of America. One of these is real, and one is generated with artificial intelligence, or AI. Can you tell the difference? That is why AI could prove to be a huge problem in the 2024 presidential election. Can your industry police itself? Well, I don't think it can police itself. It's going to hurt Republicans as well as Democrats. AI w- will and is already present across every inch of our election. At least in the short term, it's pretty scary. Stephen Brill is the co-CEO of NewsGuard, which tracks misinformation and AI on news sites. He worries voters won't know what to believe in the 2024 presidential race. Remember this Access Hollywood tape that surfaced a month before the 2016 presidential election? In it, then-Republican candidate Donald Trump made lewd comments about women. Today, if that surfaced, he could easily say, uh, you know, that's, uh, uh, you know, that audio is a fake and people would be inclined to believe it because there is uh, so much audio out there and video and text that is fake because we're in the age of generative AI. So far, no candidate we spoke to has an active way to detect AI used against them. In June 2023, a website backing Republican presidential candidate Ron DeSantis used three AI-generated photos of former President Trump hugging and kissing Dr. Anthony Fauci, the chief medical advisor to the president during the COVID-19 pandemic, who became unpopular among many conservative voters. Susan Gonzalez is the founder of AI literacy group AI and You and predicts candidates will target independents, new voters, and those who aren't AI savvy. Maybe I believe something that was an AI generated fake, completely false commercial, for example, and it sways my voice, my vote. I've just lost my essential right to vote because it's not based on accurate information. So unfortunately, in this election, there are no guardrails, there's no regulation, there are no consequences. Security analysts say AI-generated political advertising could swing close races. As the head of an AI company, Louis Rosenberg says it would take one of his employees only an hour to create a rogue AI candidate claim. He says the federal government has a responsibility to regulate large AI companies, but... Because they, they allow third-party developers through, through an API, an application developer interface, to embed these tools into other websites, other applications, um, now it becomes much harder to police because third parties can use these tools in ways that uh, even the companies making them would think are unethical. President Joe Biden issued an executive order demanding that new systems have watermarking on AI-generated material. MIT's David Rand predicts that will lead to what he calls banner blindness. Is that if you label as AI-generated, everything that's AI-generated, regardless of whether it's um, misleading or not, people essentially are going to stop really paying attention to it. It's going to become like, you know, this causes cancer labels, which are on like everything, and just nobody takes it seriously. The U.S. Federal Election Commission enforces campaign finance laws. The commission is being petitioned by the advocacy group Public Citizen to restrict the use of AI in political campaigning as fraudulent misrepresentation. A lot of voters are already quite skeptical about elections. And if if we end up you know, facing all this misinformation in the in the upcoming election, it's going to compound that skepticism. And if Americans lose faith in elections, we're going to lose democracy in the end. The Election Commission has yet to rule on this petition, but it denied a similar request from Public Citizen a few months ago. Facebook owner Meta is barring political campaigns and advertisers from using generative AI content on its platform. Google, which owns YouTube, says it will require users who post realistic AI-generated content to clearly disclose that it contains altered 
or synthetic material. Most experts do not have faith that Facebook or Google will police their rules. They won't enforce it or they won't be able to enforce it or some combination of both, but I think it's going to be meaningless. Remember our question at the beginning of the report? This is the real video. Without more universal guidelines on artificial intelligence in politics, voters will be expected to catch the fakes on their own.